Recording your own impulse responses is not a hard thing to do. What you need to do is record a sweep sound and the sweep sound can be downloaded from the comments below this video. You play back the sweep through this speaker. I'm using this portable recorder to play it back and you record it with microphones. Later in Altiverb, it's going to sound like you are sending your audio to this speaker and pick it up with the microphones that we have set up. Today I'm using four microphones so we can feed a maximum of four channels of reverb. So this is going to be a quadraphonic reverb of this room. And you can use a studio monitor like we did today, but you can also use a Bluetooth speaker like this. This is more than sufficient for dialogue, for instance. But since we're making music impulse responses, we want a bit more low end from the monitor. First thing we're doing is uh, we're going to play back some music to record it so that we can later prove that in Altiverb it sounds like the real thing. We use a central speaker position now, but because I also want stereo input on my impulse response, I will also record a left and a right position. Here are my recordings. This is the center speaker position and this is left and then right. Note that the blips are all in there. Now in shared audio ease Altiverb impulse responses sits the IR tool folder. Double click the IR tool and select this folder containing the sweeps. They will now be converted to the user created IRs folder. And when that's done, I insert an altiverb, a quad one because I recorded with four microphones. And in the user folder, I rescan. And here they are. That's it. Thanks for watching.